100 years ago, Canada and the United States decided they would ensure the future protection of our migratory birds. Parliament discussed the idea right here in what is now the Canadian Museum of Nature. And in 1916, the two countries signed an agreement called the Migratory Birds Convention, a collaboration that was entered into law in Canada a year later as the Migratory Birds Convention Act. In the years leading up to the new protective legislation, a wave of change was rippling across Canada. People were noticing that the once seemingly endless supply of birds was rapidly declining. The unchecked hunting of birds for food, for taxidermy, and for fashion, as well as the destruction of habitat, had all taken their toll. Several species of birds had recently become extinct as a direct result of human activity. The passenger pigeon, once the most abundant bird in North America, disappeared forever when the last living bird named Martha died in captivity in 1914. The conservation movement that is still alive and well in Canadian culture began around the time our government signed that first International Wildlife Conservation Agreement. And now, a century later, nearly 400 species of migratory birds have protection as a result. When bird populations decline or disappear, ecosystems and humans suffer. Some bird species pollinate plants, while others disperse seeds. Many birds eat insect pests, and some even clean up carcasses. It would certainly be awful if we couldn't watch beautiful birds or hear their incredible songs anymore. About three quarters of Canada's birds don't stay year round because their food sources disappear when the temperature drops. Instead, they bulk up and fly south, some flying much farther than others. The Arctic tern will fly from the Arctic all the way to the Antarctic every year. How birds navigate is still a bit of a mystery. Scientists agree that birds use a combination of techniques. They could be sensing the Earth's magnetic field or using the sun, moon, stars, and other landmarks to position themselves. They could be following older birds or even smelling their way. However they're doing it, it's truly an amazing feat. Birds need to be protected throughout their annual cycle, while nesting, migrating, and in other countries. To do that, many partnerships are in place, and over 90 migratory bird sanctuaries protect more than 11 million hectares of bird habitat across Canada. Much has changed in Canada in the last 100 years, but some bird populations are still declining. Like the barn swallow and the loggerhead shrike. There are many different threats affecting birds. Their habitat can be destroyed. They can be caught by pets. They can be confused by lights at night and collide with tall buildings or with power lines. Chemicals can poison them, and climate change can modify their habitat, decreasing the availability of food and increasing storms that affect their flight courses. Successful collaboration with the United States is as important now as it was when the Migratory Birds Convention was first signed, because traveling birds face an ever-changing world that continues to challenge their survival, no matter what side of the border they find themselves on. Every single person can do their part to help birds. Supervise your pet outdoors. Make windows safer. Take part in a bird survey. Protect even the smallest natural spaces. Don't use pesticides and reduce pollution. And remember, no matter where you live in Canada, birds are close by, so get out and see them.